So you removed the bash guard, you um, uh, removed the brackets for the controller, everything is loose. You need to inspect, especially this connection, because without it, the motor won't run. And also, this one, the throttle. See, the cable goes into the throttle box. Without these two, the bike won't run. The other ones, they can be disconnected. This is the um, kickstand sensor. This little guy here is uh, the buck converter. Buck converter powers the dashboard, lights, horn, stuff like that. You see it's disconnected right now and motor runs. Now on this bike, the um, crash sensor has been removed so that's the reason you can I can use the throttle with the bike upside down on yours it's not possible so if you try this and it, it doesn't run that's because you still have your tilt sensor crash sensor whatever installed so what to look for you see these uh, little grommets here that's actually not really holding the wire in it's just like a dust and water uh, seal but it's a good indication uh, you know if a wire gets pulled if we take a look I think I got one here yeah see grommet is being pulled so it's possible that the pin was not clicked into the connector body so the way to do it, to check, you just pull on the wire like gently. Don't pull too hard. You don't want to rip like the wire out of the uh, little pin terminal here. Just make sure that like they're all the way in. You can use like a, a small pick to push the uh, grommet inside. And that's about it. So make sure they're clicked in, pressed in firmly. Inspect all the pins. Make sure they're they're there. They're not bent or they're not like pushed in. If it's pushed in, you can take a uh, small uh, needle nose plier and pull on it. Uh, make sure the battery is disconnected before you do that, in case you short out two pins. So that's about it for the uh, Chiron connectors. Um, throttle converter all sensors tilt sensor kickstand sensor sorry